Hey, what is up, guys? It is AJ here. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a rundown of the cook and how you should be playing him. Okay, so before we jump into the games, I'm going to go over the perks, the abilities, and the attributes that are used so you guys can translate that into your games. For his ability, I like to go at the increased detection range because the other two don't really appeal to me as I don't frequently use his ability. I don't use it enough to warrant the other two. And this increased detection range will help when we hit level three, which we're very close to, because with his level three ability, we can unlock unlock all family see noise which means when we highlight a victim all of our family members will also see that victim so the increased range and the all family see noise perk will help me to provide information to my other family members moving on to the perks we have security pins which makes locks 50 percent harder to unlock for victims this perk is amazing they may tweak the numbers of this perk as it is very very strong for now i would always use this on the cook because it can completely lock down areas if you use the padlocks correctly the second perk is Scout, and this is one of my all-time favorite endurance perks, but a simple fact, you get movement speed, but reduced melee damage, so it has a cost. Now, that doesn't sound too great, and it's not. The first two levels of this perk are terrible, so don't be ashamed if your first few games on the Kook are bad when this perk is leveling up. You're just going to have to take the hit. At level three, it becomes amazing as the Kook will be able to decrease the time it takes for him to set up and increase his chase speed, meaning you can kill victims a lot quicker. So this perk is key. And the last one is unrelenting as the Kook does suffer from endurance issues. We do spec points into endurance and we go this perk also as it means that you can hit survivors more frequently and you can actually keep up with them with scout now the grandpa ability is niche i have one of three as you can see you can go exterior alarms if you wish to which is when critical doors and gates are opened they are highlighted to you and your family members but i like to go a barge to the point as it is very niche and you'll understand why if you continue watching and as for the attributes i go 12 into savagery zero into blood harvesting and 15 into endurance this is the build that i have been running and it's been very very fruitful i have won multiple games in a row where me and the family have killed all four members again you can adjust some of these perks and some of these numbers if you wish to but i would suggest sticking with it and seeing how you find it before making amendments anyway just in case you guys wanted to know this is what the skill tree looks like and this is the path that i have chosen so you guys can replicate it onto your games anyway enough talking let's jump straight into the games and you'll see how strong the cook really is let's just jump straight into it we're going to want to go out the, the door that's right in front of us and to the right like so i played far too much cook and then what we do is we check for the fuse box this doesn't matter. The victim's making a sound this early. It isn't actually that bad. The fuse box is just there. We have the most optimal fuse box spot location that we could possibly ask for. Right. You can animation cancel the meat sacks if in case you guys weren't aware. And uh, I'm going to padlock this door just here. This is one of the main doors you want to padlock. Super, super good padlock. Um, there's a meat pack just here. There'll be a meat pack in this kitchen. If there's not, there'll be one above the basement. There's not. There's one above the basement. There is. What we want to do is we can always achieve, from my experience, we can always achieve... 100 blood before we get the heads of grandpa. We can always achieve that. So nice, good. Right, we'll uh, close this door because Sissy just for some reason didn't close it. Add a padlock to it, lovely. I have a feeling that Sissy's not going to be playing this very well for some reason. She's leaving doors open like that. That's not good. Right, got animation cancel, lovely. And I'll lock this last door just here. So you lock all exits to the family house and there's nothing they can do other than jump out the front window, which, is, which happens a lot more than you think. You can shut that grate that's just there. Uh, and it is a good idea. It's a good idea to shut as many of those as you possibly can. Right, there's a fuse just there. The fuse just there. We just keep an eye on all the people. There is a little something you can do, actually. What you can do is you can latch these doors. It's a very good idea to latch these doors. There's a fuse just there. We need to be, uh, be aware of that fuse because that will be very bad for us. What you can do is you can latch those doors, run round, and then you can bash the doors down. And those doors can't be used against you like this. So this can no longer be slammed on me and I won't lose uh, lose the chase. I have got a perk, which uh, when Grandpa levels up, we'll all unlock it and we can barge doors open quicker. We'll head upstairs to check the fuse box, just in case. Not been opened, good. I hear someone outside, right? That's got to be outside. No, it didn't look like. All right, fair enough. Uh, someone's in the basement. That's where he was. Cool. We're going to run down here, get an early hit on her. Nice, good. Another hit, maybe. Good, nice. Nice, another hit. Maybe one more. No, that's fine. We don't pursue. We do not pursue her. She's heading straight into Leatherface. There you go. That's perfect. Leatherface saw me hitting her. We don't pursue in the basement. Do not pursue in the basement. Otherwise, you will get far too caught up. And you will let people get out. All right, we see someone up here. Nice. Remember, that door's, uh, this door's locked. 
This door she can't slam, so we have no worries here. And that's because we unlocked it. We sp we prevented that from happening, right? She's grabbed the fuse. Be aware. Nice. All right. Uh, she's okay. That's fine. There's two people upstairs. That's good. She can't do anything here. She's she is Anna, so she can tank a lot of hits, but I have no doubt she's about to die soon. There you go. That was the final hit. She had a fuse, but she couldn't get the fuse in the fuse box. And now Connie's dead, so they have no one to couldn't unlock doors any quicker. So those doors won't get unlocked. The girl with the fuse is no longer a threat. We do have to worry about the valve, but I mean, no one ever really goes for the valve play on this as well, so far that I've noticed. All right, what I'll do is I'll lock this really quickly. Looks like she's climbing up the ladder. Oh no, she she took the exit. She took the front exit. She just jumped out the window at the front. It's smart. This is the only thing they can actually do. Close the door behind you. Lock it. Lock the door. Lock the door. I'll lock the door. Okay. Good. It's right. Now uh, Leatherface can go up and uh, try and take her rum. Wherever she may be. Again, they do try this very, very frequently. There's nothing this girl can possibly do. Or and nowhere she can go that will be, like, beneficial. Hopefully Sissy turned on the generator. Uh, the battery. Oh wait, I'm on her. I'm on her. She's uh, she's really hurt. That's fine. We'll cut. We'll go the inside route. She can't do anything here. She's done. It's locked again. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm about to run out stamina. They're both locked. There's nowhere she can go. It's a complete dead end. Nice. Jeez, there you go. Good. Very good. There's nowhere they can really go. It's, even if they, a lot of players jump out the window. There you go. Look at that. He just jumped out the window. Nice. Nice. Look at that. He's actually bugged me out. Oh, my God. And there's, that's it. That's it. Everyone's dead. Oh, my God. That's, that's it. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. That goes to show, like, the only thing people can do is jump out that front window because there's no way in hell they can get out with my security pins perk because the locks are 50% harder, which means they're unable to use the front doors. They're unable to use any of the doors for that matter in the house that I've locked. And those are the only three exits that they can use. So all you need to do is pay attention to where the fuse box is and obviously try and keep an eye on the valves, but they don't usually go. I've never had someone go for a valve play. Well, I hope that gave a good uh, insight on how to play the family house. So GG's, GG's. All right, we're playing the cook. If you haven't guessed, we are playing the cook. And we're going to get absolutely destroyed by the looks of things. <laughs> I'm not even going to get an opportunity to do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this door uh, like so. And then I'm going to continue and lock the other doors in the uh, slaughterhouse itself. Because it's very important to lock those doors early on. Let's head over there now. We'll collect some blood on the way, of course. I'm not entirely sure whether or not this guy's turned this on. It's not been turned on. Okay, so we're going to have to be the ones to turn this on. Who have we got on our team? Hitchhiker. Yeah, Hitchhiker spawns at the uh, generator. So we need to make sure that at least someone came over here and turned this on, you know? These locks on these doors will stall them quite a fair amount, especially if they haven't got enough. That's a really good execution. Especially if they haven't got enough lock picks. But it's like a temporary fix, you know, because they'll get out eventually. Especially if these survivors end up having a perk where they don't actually use a lock pick. It makes it very, very easy for them to just bypass a lot of the locks. We'll lock this door as well. There you go. All right, so there's a valve there. Yeah, if, you, if you're kind of confused at where the uh, key crucial items are, there's all three of them just there. Good damn. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna run around this bit because they're gonna try and uh, come through here. Yeah, there we go. He'll go back through, undoubtedly. Okay, the guy won the uh, close encounter. Nice. There's nowhere he can possibly run. Oh my god, he's probably going to get murdered there. Yeah, he tied me. Um, is that lock still on that door? The lock still is on the door. Lovely. Eventually, the, the cook becomes one of the best characters in the game to play. But a simple reason that you can, when you scan around, you can actually see and locate where people are and showcase that to your family. We'll go ahead and close some of these as well. Closing these are very, very important, especially as cook, because they can just abuse them. All right, we'll listen out again. Oh, yeah, someone's underneath of us. Okay, yeah, there she is. There's no point chasing her down here, really, as quick. You're probably wondering how will I come so quick. It's because of one of the perks I have. I get um, extra movement speed, which is good. She's going to wait around. Yep. I'm out of stamina, but it's okay. Nice. Again, this is why it's bad for the cook to uh, pursue, because they can just keep going back and forth like this. <laughs> Although saying that, the girl's dead. I've only gone and done it. I've only gone and got a kill in the basement as the cook. <laughs> oh, god damn, bro. He's murdering her. Yeah, going to the basement as the cook is like one of the worst things you can do. 
Oh my god, that was the last go. What? That was the last go that I did that quick. Going down to the basement is very bad for the cook. Notoriously bad for the cook. And that's just because it's impossible, literally impossible to chase anyone that's competent on Survivor and knows the layout of the basement. You won't be able to catch them. Yeah, GG's. We're going to next. All right, we are playing the cook on the gas station. So let's see whether we can do justice to the cook, the old cookie boy. I always put a lock on this front door because it's double locked, as you can see. That lock has saved me on so many occasions. You have no idea. There is usually a meat pack in that building. However, there isn't this time. I'm going to uh, reiterate the fact that you can cancel the collection of meat by uh, using your ability and then canceling it. It just speeds up the animation a bit. I do lock this gate as well. There's a bit of method in my madness. And then I run back here. And if this is opened, I, I usually uh, cook it shut. Always kick those shut because it benefits you. You don't have to care too much about sissy or sissy or hitchhiker that can go through those spaces. It's better to focus on yourself. All right. And we lock this one just here because this is so, so far away. Now we are pretty much good to go. We're all set up to where we need to be. There is a little gate in here that you can lock, but there's no need to lock that. That's such a small uh, run around that you can catch up to him. It's actually bad if they use that. Looks like grandpa's in the center house. He is, look at him, chilling on the top of the stairs. What is underneath of the main building? Now coming up the stairs in the main building. Yep, you see him. Yeah, I see him. I'm gonna go behind He's him. Towards me. Yeah, that's cool. I'm coming in through the front. Body's gone through there, and then in this little bit here, yeah. Here she is. She's gonna go back through, she's gone back through. And nice. I hit Leland twice. That's fine. He's gone out to the exterior of the house from the side, near one of the yep. gates. Uh, he's near the log pile on the exterior. I'm going to run around the long way. Just so you can get me on. Uh, Connie's here too, I think. Yeah, Connie's here too. She's bleeding though. Nice, I'm on him. I'm on him here. I'm going to try and block him so you can get in. Nice, he wasted his stun on me. That's perfect. Oh my god, he's down. Oh, catch him. Catch him. Oh my god, the one here. That was a very, very good early kill that we managed to uh, pluck up this there. The lock on that gate is still intact. We can cover these locks so, so, so good. And the reason why we're able to is because of our 15% extra movement speed perk. Do we know where the uh, fuse box is? I don't see it for the map. Is it? Oh, uh, not yet. I'm convinced somebody's in here. Oh, it's in the house. Yeah, the fuse box is in the house. All right, no one's unlocked that gate just there because we can see the little notch next to it, so we have no reason to worry so far. I'm listening now. I can't I can't hear anyone, though. They're being super sneaky. Somebody's... That's me, that's me. It's, it's better to break these because it means they can't slam them in your face. Oh. The two valves are in the house. They're still there. Oh, wait, someone's at the uh, someone's at the backyard, uh, side yard, back house, side of house. I'm actually... I can't speak. Hello? Yeah, Bubba's found him, I think. Yeah, she was there. Oh, my God. I might be able to catch her running. Uh, inside the house, I think. I just heard a noise inside the house. Yeah, she's uh, gone down to the basement. She's in the basement. What a little neat little, uh, neat little track you, trick you can do is look through she's this window to see the fuse box. No, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. She got me. That's why she's dead. Nice one, man. Nice. Good comms, bro. I appreciate that. Comms really does help in this game, but you don't necessarily need them. It's weird. You don't need them, but they're very useful. That lock's on there. That lock's on there still, okay. We just need to check the gates that we haven't actually locked. The Hitchy's got a uh, bone trap just there. That's really good. That slows them slows them down massively. You can see the uh, the lock from here if you pay attention to it, just to let you guys know. Uh, rear of the house. Someone's at rear of the house. The main house is Connie. She got stuck. That's really good. I'll let her get away for a bit because I've run out of stamina. She might go down the well, yeah. That's fine. Just get a hit on her. Oh, you beast. I'm about to go upgrade Grandpa to two. Yeah, I can upgrade him after you finish. No one's done the fuse box yet, so that's always good. Can I borrow you for two seconds, Hitchy? Yeah, hey, what's up? Um, uh, bash this door in. Hang on two seconds. Bash this door in now. Bash it in. You should be able to get there through there quickly. Yep. Nice. It means that they can't like, use these doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this one here as well, one here. The other side. I need to go around, need to go around there. I'll lock this one if you come this way. There you go. I've latched another one in there. Nice one, man. All right, nice. The fuse box has not been done, and neither has the... Oh, the valve's been taken. The valve has been taken. She might be heading to... It's beside the house. If you go around uh, anti-clockwise... Oh, clockwise, sorry. If you go around yeah, clockwise. Yeah, the other side. Legend. Yeah, one of the valves are missing. That was there a minute ago, so she's obviously... Yeah, I'm here. Oh, listen now as well. She's going to be creeping. I'll just gatekeep it somewhat. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep all the other exits done. Wait, did I just see her? No, it's just here. Yeah, just here, just here down the side bit. Oh, no, that's you. Oh, my God, bro. What the... F <laughs> my God. You are so blended. That was... That was awesome. What? Oh, my God.
good. That means she won't yeah. see me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, she might think you're another survivor, bro. <laughs> Strip me the <laughs> hell out. <laughs> Please, why are you me? You can cover the uh, gates from there, right? Yeah. Nice, legend. That means I can I only need to cover two. Yeah, these two back yeah, ones are fun. I'll let you know if my traps get uh, hit or whatever. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, that's no. it. Nice. Well, I'm going to feed Grandpa again. He should be almost level uh, four. Oh, uh, yeah, 17 blood. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's, I think it's good. You, you, you're doing a good job staying there, I think. Bro, if you actually, if you actually get it from there, that's Do crazy. Okay, I'm coming. Nice. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. I'm almost there. Oh! Slice her. Slice her up. I did, I swear to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, legend, awesome. <laughs> nice. All right, that's another one to our name. This is all you need to be doing. That is right in my ear. Nice. All right, we're doing really, really, really good at the minute. We need to keep this pace up, and then eventually we'll find uh, Connie. She's on me. I see you. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Legend. Oh, no. Oh, again, it's just another kill for the cook. Do you want the kill? <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I'm not taking that, buddy. <laughs> That's foul play. <laughs> nah, well played, man. You got really good comms. I appreciate that. Oh, what a play. Oh, right. Although I wasn't talking very much above the gameplay, I was uh, using comms. And I think that's something that a lot of people aren't aware of, is that you do actually need to use comms on the cook. It's not essential, especially if you have all of the perks that I use. But other than that, communication is key. If you're able to communicate with your team, even if they don't respond, you will more than likely win the game. I have, as I've said, I've got no proof of it, but I have won so many games games in a row just from playing the cook and padlocking the doors that i've been doing on the video and that's just it there's no there's no secret to the formula padlock the doors keep checking the fuse boxes and the valves and you'll win the game but yeah ggs i have nothing else to say ggs